Today we'll be admiring and shooting what I call two of the most beautiful revolvers ever made. Colt's 1851 Navy and 1861 Navy. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. I probably don't have to work too hard to make the case that these are two of the most beautiful revolvers ever made. Samuel Colt himself said that this one, the 1861 Navy revolver, was his most beautiful design. Although, well, while I do agree it is very beautiful, I'm going to disagree with him because I'm more partial to the 1851 Navy. I really like that octagonal barrel. Although I completely understand a lot of people like the different lines, the contour, of the 1861 as it very closely resembles the 1860 Army revolver in 44 caliber. The navies both of course are 36, both of these, and these are not authentic Colts, these are both reproductions from Uberti. I've said in the past I love Uberti because, well a number of reasons, their fit and finish is outstanding, in my experience typically a little better than Pieta, although Pietas are superb, you know, functional revolvers that they don't put markings on the barrel on uberti they put them under the loading lever so they're discreet so they look more like genuine colts and they the, just to finish the bluing and everything on uberti just fantastic these both have outstanding walnut for their grips and notice there is no brass on either of these guns the trigger guards and the grip frames are all blued steel where normally they'd be brass these are both london models in fact my 51 navy even says that across the top of it. This 61 Navy does not say it, but it is advertised as by Uberti as their London model. And if you didn't know, Colt did have a factory in London for a while, and not all of his models had versions made there, but some did, and in previous videos, I have talked more about that if you would like to learn more about it. Well, now that you've seen both the guns, why don't we get them loaded up and we'll have some shooting fun with them. Let's start off loading my favorite, the London model 1851 Navy. To load it, hammer gets pulled to the half cock position, which frees the cylinder. And I'm going to be shooting paper cartridges today in 36 caliber. And these are a little different from paper cartridges you've seen me use in my 36 caliber guns before. These are what I call the XL 36 paper cartridges. It's just a little bit longer than a standard 36 caliber paper cartridge. And these are made, of course, with the Guns of the West paper cartridge kit and the XL size is now available. Make sure you look in the description down below for the link to get those. We'll just go ahead and put these in. And while I'm loading, I wanna mention an email I received from a viewer just the other day asking me if it's necessary to modify the 1851 Navy in order to load paper cartridges in it because of the very small loading port right here. Well, good news, it is not necessary. Now, if you're buying, say, an 1860 Army, that will be a different story. That absolutely does need to be modified. But the 1851, right out of the box, is ready to go. It's just shaped perfectly. And the same goes for the 1861 over there. Here's our last cartridge. Got all six of those in. For caps, I'm going to be using Remington number 10 percussion caps. So let's get those capped up. I cannot get over the handiness of this tool. If you haven't got your 12 cap capper yet, again, make sure you look in the description down below because that is just quick and slick. All right, well, the gun is now loaded. I'm going to bring the hammer back lower it down gently and then move it onto a safety notch until I'm ready to shoot. Before I get to shooting though, let's go ahead and get the 61 loaded up. We don't want it feeling left out now, do we? So go ahead and put some cartridges in it. Notice how the loading procedure is exactly the same as it was on the 51 Navy. And the loading port on the 61 you can see is even better but again, neither one needs to be modified at all. Also, one thing I should mention, I'm using conical bullets in these cartridges. These are the Colt Cartridge Works bullets from Arizgon Bullet Molds. But a question I get asked all the time is, can I use round balls? I get talking and I just over <laughs> overturned that. Let's get back to where I left off. 
But anyway, the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Round balls work just fine. In fact, maybe I'll shoot some. I believe I have some of those cartridges still in my range bag. If you do want to shoot the conicals, the molds I recommend highly are air is gone bullet molds, as I've mentioned many times in the past. All right. Got cartridges in. Let's get a 61 all capped up. And six. And we'll just put that right on that safety notch. Now we are ready to go. All right, well, just a little more than 15 yards ahead of me there is a steel target. And thanks to Tacticam, my new partnership with them, I've got some target footage while I'm shooting. I'm going to go ahead and shoot both at the same time. I've got my favorite, my 51 Navy, in my left hand, which well, gives that a disadvantage. I don't claim to shoot well that way. And I've got the 61 Navy here in the right hand. So let's just take some shots with these gorgeous guns here. Let's see if we can put one on that. Ha, miss. See if I have any chance here. <laughs> I'll be darned. I think that was a bullseye. Let's keep going. Am I gonna do better today, lefty? <laughs> so far. Here we go. Oh, look at that flinch too, huh? <laughs> Let's try uh, another one here. Oh, that was a cap jam. That was a cap jam. Try shooting with the correct eye, huh? How about that, might actually work. Well, cap jam on both guns. Gotta hold off on that one. I think I heard a cap go off, so we're just gonna give that a moment. All right, we got a couple more on this one. Good, and now I'm actually going to have to recap that so we don't risk a chain fire from the rear. All right, let's finish off the 51 Navy here. And there was one more right there we missed before. All right. I'd like to have one more round of shooting with the 1851 Navy, just because this one is my favorite. And I've got uh, some mixed match cartridges here. I've got two with the Arizgon bullet molds, uh, Richmond Laboratories bullets. And I've got four here that are round balls. So I'll just get these loaded up. Again, you see the round balls work just fine. But I will just finish this and be right back. All right, I've got six more cartridges in. So let's get capped up. And the reason, by the way, for the mismatched cartridges is just, that was just a handful left over from previous shoots. So it just is what it is. All right. Get back down on a safety notch. And let's have just a little more fun before we end. All right. Well, I've turned the cylinder around a few times, so I'm not sure where those two bullet cartridges are versus the round balls. We're just gonna shoot, see if I can feel any difference, and see if I hit the target. See how it goes. Oh, flinched again. <laughs> Let's give that just a moment here. Cap did not go off that time. My goodness. Oh, I see. That'll do it. Cap jam. When they get down in front of the hammer, that'll stop everything right up. All right, let's try it again now.
All right, two more shots. And the gun is getting a little bit gummed up at this point. You may have noticed I didn't use any grease today. You can usually shoot for a while like that, but it is starting to feel the effect. Last shot, here we go. And we end on a hit. All right, well that'll do it for the shooting for today, but I just wanted to have a chance for one more close up look and to show you these two guns, they're just fantastic. You know, I've been getting a lot of emails and comments over the last few years asking me for recommendations on a first cap and ball revolver. And as I've said in other videos, you cannot go wrong with a 36 caliber Navy. Now, whether you go for the 51 or the 61 is mainly a matter of style. I personally prefer the 1851 Navy, but I realize a lot of people, including Samuel Colt himself, prefer the 61. Well, as always, I really hope you enjoyed the video today, maybe even found the information helpful. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media, as well as where to find all of the great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.